Our nation's shoreline is constantly changing. Coastal communities face a variety of hazards due to extreme storms, long-term coastal erosion, and sea level rise. The USGS Coastal Change Hazards Portal provides information on these hazards that can be used by policymakers, emergency managers, and citizens to understand these hazards and take action. This tutorial shows an example of how to find coastal hazards information in the portal for a coastal community, download it, and share the information with others. We'll use a location search to find the community of Rodanthe, North Carolina, and look for data there. Click the Zoom To button. You can change the base layer image using the base layer tool on the left. Let's look for information on historical shoreline change rates. This region ranges from yellow, negative 1 to 1, to red, which is more than 2 meters of erosion per year. You can collapse, expand, and scroll the legend by clicking the map legend tool. The northern extent of this view is red, others orange and yellow. This shows that the rate of shoreline change is varied along the coast based on over 150 years of shoreline position data. You can add these data to your bucket, which is our version of a shopping cart. The bucket at the top of the screen shows you how many items you have. You can see what's in your bucket by clicking the icon. From the bucket, you can change the visibility of your items on the map, download, get more information, and share that item. But let's look at some other data for Rodanthe. The historical shoreline data that are used to determine the rate of coastal erosion we just saw. Here are those shorelines. You can see that in the past, the shoreline was farther offshore than it is today. You can find out the date for each shoreline by clicking on it. The shoreline in 1852 was over 500 meters, or about 1,640 feet, seaward of where it is today. Farther south, in Rodanthe, the shoreline has not changed as much, so the coastal erosion rates seen earlier are lower. They are yellow instead of red. We'll add these data to the bucket. You can share the erosion rate and shoreline information for Rodanthe with a friend or colleague. This short link will preserve the current map view and the information you have so that others can see it as you have built it. That wraps up this short demonstration of how to explore, learn, and use information in the USGS Coastal Change Hazards Portal. To learn more, visit the USGS Coastal Change Hazards Portal at marine.usgs.gov slash coastal change hazards portal. You can also follow us on Twitter at USGS Coast Change.